from? Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. How old are you? 26. 26. What you do for a living? I'm in IT, so I'm currently a project manager, but I'm also transitioning to cybersecurity. Um, and I'm also going to, so I plan on, on also starting a cybersecurity company as well. Okay. Do you have any kids? No. No kids ever been married? No. Hi, baby. What kind of man you looking for? Um, so I was born in Nigeria, so I'm Nigerian. So I do prefer, you know, a Nigerian man. If not Nigerian, then a West African man, at least. Um, you have to be tall. I'm 5'7", so at least like 5'11". Um, um, a man that has a passport. Um, a man with no children. Um, God-fearing man. A man that goes to church. Um, a man that has a good career, has a good pathway. Um, I, I don't, I don't date DJs. I don't date promoters. I don't date truck drivers. Um, I don't, yeah, and that's just about it for now so far. Did you have a bad experience with those professions? <laughs> no, it's just, I, I've heard stories. So I'm not one of those people that has to go through it to experience it. I, I, I learn from other people's experiences. Okay. Now, would you want a Nigerian man? Would you date a Nigerian man in Nigeria or should he be here? If he is going to be in Nigeria, he has to have a lot of money because I need to, you know, like, because as a Nigerian woman, I understand the currency rate. Like, you know, when you transfer Nigerian, you know, Naira to, to dollars, but I prefer a man that's here in the U.S. So. so, well, since you brought up money, how much money do you want the man to make? Um... Well, because I'm making six figures in IT, I would prefer a man that's also making at least 100K. Bare minimum 100K. Uh, huh. Don't say God. Don't say God. So, 100K, she up here talking about uh, rubles and, uh, um, mm -hmm. you know, exchange know. rates. She said, listen, <laughs> what is she, 26, no kids? She definitely fit at least. She did. She ain't blowed out, but I guarantee that. You know, she got that coat on. She got to take that coat off for the Kendrick. I tell you that right now. But hey, I don't think she's too far off base. Hey, she's saying what she's saying. She ain't got no kids, and she at least fit. What? <laughs> yeah, she got that. She's arrogant. She got that wig on her head. Like we she said, did. women, y'all can't demand these men. If you are lucky enough to end up with this guy you're fortunate to come up here demanding this man as if you are standing on that square when you ain't you you come and you go you're common walking yes you, you simply have not been 100 disqualified from him you got no kids you ain't blowed out you can possibly get him possibly you see that but probability she keep on talking. I'm pretty sure that starts to decrease with every syllable. <laughs> and my guy, Coffee Killer, says, I am sick of these B-dubs and wigs, especially the blonde ones. Oh. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Here we go. And if he's in Nigeria, you're open-minded if he's making that or more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about looks? Should he look a certain way? Brown skin or dark skin and just at least 5'11". That's about it. I prefer an okay. Igbo man. You know, I'm also, I'm also I'm an Igbo girl, so I prefer an Igbo man. I don't mind Yoruba. Just don't do Hausa man or Fulani. I can't do those two. Um, you can't I do don't what? Know, you, can't house, you can't be Hausa or Fulani. So those are tribes in Nigeria. Um, but I'm okay I'm, with Yoruba. I'm with Yoruba. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay with Yoruba or Igbo because I'm, I'm an Igbo girl. Um, and I do as well. And Delta, I'm also okay with Delta. Okay. Um, so you only want a Nigerian man then? You're not open to a man that's not Nigerian? No, I prefer a Nigerian man. That's like my number one. But if you're like Ghanaian, if you're from Cameroon, any part of West Africa, I'm okay with that. Okay. Um, let's do the Kendra Cam because we already did the money. So let's do the Kendra Cam. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. How, how long have you been in Dallas for? You look good. You look good. Uh, thank you. Uh, I've been in Dallas for three years. I, I originally okay. came from Philadelphia. Okay. 
When was your last relationship, honey? I've never been in a relationship. Your whole life you've never been in a relationship? <laughs> no, I've just been in situationships because if you're not my, I, I personally, I'm one of those people, like, I could tell if you're my husband. And if you're not my husband, I'm not going to waste two years with you. For example, like, if I don't see myself actually, you know, committing to you, you being the lead, because I'm very independent. So if I can't see myself following after you, then there's no point in even wasting my time, you know. So she is going around running her body count up. That makes a lot of sense. I didn't... Is this camera on me? <laughs> yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. That's why dating is dumb. I think Man. we have said that. <laughs> she like, I've never been in a relationship. I'm not a virgin. I just date these guys when I feel like they ain't, if they ever tell me no, you ain't my husband. If you ever tell me no about anything, I just move on. That's it. She said, no relationships, only situationships. She was only out here for satisfactory meet-to-meet -meet action. Noted. Absolutely noted. This is, this is, it's unfortunate. I hate being divisive in this marketplace deal, man. But you women got to understand. Coming up here and, and expressing and confessing that you out here on the weenie carousel, all willy-nilly, no strings attached. And they up here, all most of them asking for marriage minded six figure man. She that's what she asking for. Shit. <laughs> like I said, she's looking for a Nigerian guy. She wants green car bay that make a millionaire green car bay. That's what she wants. Mm -hmm. I don't good luck. I don't know nothing about that culture. Too, I really don't, but I would imagine she just as far as off base. One of the show sponsors got to get that updated. Says great, greater than 100K, tall, only from the tribe of Zamunda, <laughs> very independent. F out of here. Yeah. Just, I don't need a man because I'm very independent. I'll just cut you off. Yeah. And she, what was y'all saying? She was displaying tribalism. She's like, you can't be a part of certain tribes and holler at me. Won't accept it. This is, learn, we learned it. I ain't know nothing about it. <laughs> tribalism. So you're a virgin. No, I'm not a virgin. I said I've been in situationships, but I'm I'm so not I, a virgin. Okay. So I understand. Listen, I understand if you meet a guy, you know he's not your husband. But why does it make sense for you not to be? Well, I don't know. Do you want a committed relationship? Do you want a husband? I do. I do. Okay. So how do you explain that? Is it makes smart? It's smarter to be in a situationship opposed to a relationship if you're going to have sex. It's not smart at all. It's stupid. Actually, it's very stupid. And I regret it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take that okay. accountability, you know? <laughs> okay. 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 Listen, I received that. So now moving forward, are you desiring a relationship? Yes. hundred percent. I mean, I've always desired a relationship. It's just, you know, sometimes a man I want doesn't want me or the man that um, doesn't want me, I mean, the man that wants me, I don't want them. So it's, you know, that's exactly the way it works. I mean, yeah. you, you, listen, a lot of things I'm about to say, you kind of said it first. Um, that's exactly what it is. Um, this is why I don't like situationships because in situationships, a lot of times, I mean, it could go both ways, but majority of the times women catch feelings, right? Yeah. And then women want it to become a relationship. And the high probability is, is it, it won't become a relationship, right? And that's why, I mean, women hate when I say it, child, but that's why I say only have sex with people who are willing to be in relationships with you so you can know what are your relationship options versus your situationship options. Because a lot of women are having sex with men who ain't never going to make them a, your their girlfriend, let alone their wife. So you should not even waste your time, get wrapped up into that cave of liking this guy who's never going to give you what you really want in the long run. So I, I believe in relationships and sex. or that's what, That's just my own personal belief. But... Y'all got to live your own life and decide for yourself. I will respect that. All right, Ruth, what are when was the last time you was intimate? You don't have to answer. Um, I'll keep that to myself. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Three flaws. I'm very independent, so it's really hard for me to follow a man's lead. Um, another one is I'm a shopaholic. Like I love to shop. Another flaw is. Um, I'm kind of loud. As a Nigerian girl, we're, I'm very loud. So I can be trying to have a conversation with you, but I'm just shouting and I don't even realize I'm shouting. Okay. Okay. 
And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? <laughs> this is crazy. Is it, is it difficult for these sisters to hold on to themselves and not just give themselves away in these situationships? If she don't come here talking about situationships in Philly and Houston, slightly different vibe, man. She ain't got no kids, but she is who she is. That Kendra Cam was definitely lackluster. I'm going to see if we can at least catch we go. Instagram here. Here we and go. let's see what this Nigerian queen got. <laughs> she stood up during the Kendra cam and you know she her stomach was kind of in, in the screen. She she got a little bit of weight on her. She ain't she ain't blowed out, but she got some fluff to her. <laughs> she got some fluff. I'm pretty sure, you know, she get wrapped up tight. She a whole deal. Y'all keep saying Nigerian scammer. Yeah, with a screen name like cocaine. See what I'm saying, man? <laughs> that is so masculine. Cocaine. Who is you? Escobar? So, typical. She looked like a typical one of these Meg the Stallion Instagram women. You know, the fat falleth with a fat like it. Uh, I'm <laughs> sure she got beta orbiters out the wazoo. Mm -hmm. And she drive a Tesla. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So, this is her. This is the typical Instagram modern chick, you know, not impressed. It's crazy. What a world we live in. And that's sad that this ain't impressive. I should be more impressed, but I'm not. So you see what I'm saying? It's watered down. Nothing is left to the imagination on IG. You know, it's and and it's not impressive because we didn't also see her software previously. See what I'm saying? So for all you ladies, shout out to Heathen Queen that say we only worried about the physical. No, but it is. Look at that. Man, she tattooed up my baby. <laughs> Looks are very important, y'all. Want somebody to stick around? I, I don't understand why today's modern women complain about men addressing their nature and want something nice to look at when every last woman is demanding monogamy. <laughs> it's madness. So... Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, just a typical chick, not impressed. I can't stress that enough. I what? Don't know. Tell you what? What? No kids? Was she twenty six? No kids? Uh, <laughs> what? The currency rate? Yeah, yeah. She twenty six. No kids. African chick. She looked for a millionaire. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Millionaire Nigerian Thunder. Well, uh, oh. let's bring Heath the Queen into the room. Are we saying that she can't sleep with this guy? Uh, yeah, yep. she can. She been what doing exactly it. What is she looking for? These women need to but, just up front. I'm looking for a monogamous millionaire husband. Monogamy, monogamy, and husband. Those two words alone are critical. And those two things they never say. Say a monogamous husband that makes all this money, and we can really be critical. Mm hmm. And that's what she want. That is what she want. That's why we critical. <laughs> so, huh? With that being said, um, Senator Glaze Galaxy at best. And yeah, you go at best. Is he the Glaze Galaxy? Huh? Yes, yeah, because she wants. She got very specific about these Igbo and Mandingo warrior tribes. Yeah, Glaze Galaxy. They have her. Shout out to Q, what it do with the honey ball. Yeah, says we're wine. Let's see. okay. This is the one I knew one of these women, I wasn't quite sure. Okay. So, when he came up last night and Q, what it do did, he sent the super chat over. And I want to say Kendra read it. And okay, so we can get deer. Oh, okay, here we go. There we go. <laughs> Shout out to Q. Yeah, this interview wasn't done. So let me make sure. Let me see where we at. I kind of like your third eye. So there's things you might not see, but I might see on your, like, on the outside looking in. So I guess okay. you can see that. I got a paid question. I got a paid question. I'm going to bring it here. Um, Q La Q said, ladies, we do this every, um, ladies, we do this everything night. I think they meant every night. There are not enough 100K man, men for everyone. Shout mm -hmm. out to the SBC Nation. I don't know what the SBC Nation is. I'm not sure if I should know. Um, 
Yes, you. If you don't know, now you know, Kendra. Yeah. Boom, shakalaka. <laughs> Y'all, Kendra, stop. Y'all gonna make her say it now. Kendra said the SB. Kendra just gave y'all a shout out. Shout out to the realest chat on YouTube. Even Kendra said it. The SBC Nation. <laughs> I love it. True journalism is in the building. Uh, G Honda, move over. Shout out to Q to what it do. Come through. You know what I'm saying? Got it. Got it. They got it nice. He didn't come there with some weird screen name like G Honda. She couldn't pronounce. Q2, we appreciate you. You one up G Honda. That's what I like. <laughs> I'll, here we go. I'll run it back one more time. Shout out to Q. That's too dope. Here we go. I'm gonna bring it here. Um Q La Q said, ladies, we do this every um, ladies, we do this everything night. I think they meant every night. There are not enough 100K man, men for everyone. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the SBC Nation. I don't know what the SBC Nation is. I'm not sure if I should know. Um, can I respond to that? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. So there's not enough, there's not a lot of 100 men, 100K men in your world, but in my world, there's a lot of 100K men and women <laughs> in my world. So the, the, the events I go to, men are pulling up in Rolls Royce, Porsches, you know, I drive a Tesla, um, you know, million dollar home. So in my world, yes, there are hundred K is actually the minimum. Like I said, I make a hundred K. So if I was able to make a hundred K by the age of 23, why is it that at your big age, you can't make a hundred K? What were you doing at, at 40? You're 40 years old. What have you been doing all these time, all this time? You're 30 years old. What have you been doing? So like I said, I don't care. <laughs> That's your world. For my world, we make a hundred K. Oh, Shane. Cancel this. It as, as the Godfather would say, this is shame, insults, guilt need to be right. So for all you broke ninjas, she live in a world full of Lamborghinis and Rolls Royces. And yeah, what you been doing? What you been doing that you ain't seeing all these 100K men? This is what's amazing. They don't get it, Q. Yes, maybe perhaps you are around a whole bunch of 100K men. And that ain't making your argument no better because you want to be married and all these hundred K men jumping out of Rolls Royces and such ain't marrying you. Please make that make sense. Please. Easily. Okay. Listen, I respect that. My question to you is why haven't you locked down one of those guys? Oh, actually Damn. I messed up. There wasn't, there's one guy that got away. Making 600K, I messed up. I didn't like him at that moment, but then I started liking him, but then he went and found someone else. So there's a lot of like, or it's, so is there situations like that, or the guy's too short, or his tribe, you know, like it's a Nigerian, or, um, you know, it's like when, when I meet him, it starts off as friends. So it stays as friends. Um, it just doesn't progress to that. So yeah. But okay. I still have options, you know. <laughs> okay, Mr. Patrick. Let me read this one. Miss, I guess, um, Mr. Patrick Spalding said, "Ask her why does she have two Instagrams? They both look like personal pages." I have one Instagram. Oh, uh, maybe somebody has a fake page of yours. Yeah, I have one Instagram. Oh, let me. I've had like. Oh, I think I know. I've had like three Instagrams, but two of them were like hacked, or they were. Um, I forgot the password. But the one I actively use is the one that's linked here. Okay. I want to yeah. say this to all women who are like you, Ruth, who are around the, the top 1% men, because the guy you just described is the 1% man that makes a certain amount of money, um, that's driving those cars. If this is your real world, ladies, lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. You will have a higher probability. And this is my show, and I love my show. And yes, I really do have men that make that amount of money that watch my show all the time. But they also have a lot of times, and this is my world, they don't come on the show because they have so many options in the real world. So if you are like Ruth and you're telling us that your reality is surrounded by the 1% men on a regular basis, I encourage you to lock it in with somebody in your reality. Don't, don't let that guy go by if that is your reality. If you're always around these men 
start talking to them, start learning. This is what y'all say y'all want. This is what you say you around. You know, it's these are one percent men. I want you to know that. And I do agree because um, I guess I made that mistake. So now that I'm 26, when I was 23, 24, 22, I was around these men, but I wasn't serious. You know, um, I just wanted to keep exploring. So now that I'm 26, they're all either my friends already. So it's weird now. <laughs> so I don't want to date any of them, if that makes sense. But okay. when they weren't interested, I said no. So. Okay. Well, let's do it. I e she done hunched them all. And I see y'all saying she done dropped the baton. How the fuck did this just happen? I, I was in control at first. Let me tell you, y'all, I was in control. I, I was. I was in control, y'all. And then all of a sudden, I dropped the goddamn baton. I dropped that motherfucker. Yeah. I dropped the whole baton, y'all. The whole baton. <laughs> she claimed she had this guy making uh, millions of dollars and she let she kicked him to the curb and he found another woman yeah did y'all not hear the confessions are just spewing out today she said she had a guy making at least six hundred thousand dollars holy cow and she said she liked he liked it her but at that time he was not making little men in boat tingle she said ah, ninja i know you nice i know you dope but you ain't my type get out of here then he stopped y'all know what happened he stopped paying her attention he stopped being all sweet. He stopped orbiting. And she's like, hey, big hit, where you been? He said, don't worry about it. I got something else going on. Then she liked it, him. <laughs> Man. So I love it. This, These are the tales that they refuse to tell. She didn't had her shot in her world. She said it with her mouth. Thank you, Kendra, for digging. And she just told the tale. She she dropped the, she dropped the whole baton. <laughs> Man. And shout out to Q what it do for the in-depth journalism and for bringing her back. We almost moved off. Uh, that was a lot on the back end. It was a lot of meat left. We almost left that. So Man. Yeah. Yeah. We, we was, I was sitting up here before Gav recommended Glaze Galaxy. My goofy self was going to say small band. But her mouth is an absolute snake pit. Yeah, it's Glaze Galaxy at best. I'll throw her goofy self in the sub at this point. Man, like you said, as the good minister once said, with no man by your side because your damn mouth is what it is. It's a snake pit. Huh. She told all these tales of disaster. Yeah, I was messing with these guys. We just like friends now. Now they don't want nothing to do with me. Over. Glazed galaxy, folks. Here we go. <laughs> we got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. See, this shit is gonna be dangerous. Some dark winged duck shit. Let's get dangerous. I play the fool for the fool. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. And no exception to the rule. Listen, baby. I played the fool for a fool. Out of there. <laughs> so, here we go. Nasty, um, man. 